BuzzFeed is a global media company. We cover over 11 different editions, and this could be from our site, but also over 30 different social networks that we distribute our content to. In terms of users, we're hitting about 7 billion page views per month, which is really exciting for the company, but as an engineer, there's some really exciting problems that come out of that in terms of scaling. So previously, we had one large monolithic um, application that was able to serve all of our, our website. And over the last year, we slowly moved to microservices which has meant that it's made it more difficult to route URLs to the correct backend application. We started doing that in the CDN and found that the configuration there became more and more complicated. Making a change to it became quite difficult in terms of adding the actual change, but also verifying that it was gonna work and not break anything else. And as we've moved to microservices, we've realized that we needed a much smarter way of routing um, pages to our applications. Nginx Plus allowed us to make the configuration much more easily deployable. It made sure that it scaled well, and when we added it to the system, we saw very little latency added to the request, which was great. So the main use case for Nginx is routing to our microservices, but it also provides us the ability to roll out some of our new services gradually. The big benefits of Nginx Plus were firstly the support that we got around it. We knew we had someone that we could contact and get the individual support that we needed. The first time we had support with Nginx Plus, we received a response within the hour. The actual question was fairly complex and we actually got a very good response straight away and the conversation was really good. Secondly, we had um, DNS resolving with Nginx Plus, which meant that we were using quite sophisticated upstreams and server zones. So when our AWS load balancers changed IP address, Nginx Plus allowed us to make sure that those DNS were updated. And thirdly, it gave us much more metrics than we got in the open source version. And this was really important for our operational staff. We could see exactly which upstreams were failing and which status codes was actually being served from our upstream servers. We had some really good data dog graphs working out how many requests were going to each application. And with Nginx Plus and having the extra metrics that that provides, it made it super easy for our operational teams to see what is actually going on. And if there's a 500 spike and some errors coming through, we knew exactly which upstream was causing the problem. When we started the site router, we actually started with the open source version. We realized that Nginx Plus, with its better support, with its DNS resolving, the advanced metrics that we get out was the way forward. Nginx Plus allowed us to get to the final mile.